Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I currently share my love for animes and mangas. This video would be about the 7th time loop, episode number 3. What's in the manga or novel that did not make it in the anime? Most of the deleted scenes in this episode were lovey-dovey moments of our power couple. So get ready for some sweetness overload! Number 1. The Very Busy Arnold Hine when Oliver told Rishi that Arnold has not managed to take a nap, Rishi remembered him visiting her in her room the night before and realized that he should have taken that time to rest instead. But obviously, the crown prince opted to see her despite his tight schedule. And if you remember their interaction in the balcony, it definitely was not a business meeting. It was very casual, like he just wanted to check on her and see how she was. Like she was his stimulant to invigorate him from his strenuous workload. In short, he really didn't need to be there. Number 2. The Party Invitation in the manga, Oliver complained that Arnold forgot to mention the party that evening to Rishi. However, we learned that the party was just to show the kingdom that Prince Arnold was still looking for princesses for political marriage purposes. In the novel, Arnold explained to Rishi that the party was just for formality since he was already engaged to her. And with the news that she's a hostage fiancé going around, Arnold did not want to subject her to the uncomfortable situation. So, it was actually intentional on his part not to ask her to attend. Hmm, he really was being considerate of her feelings, don't you think? Number 3. The Actual Party in this scene, Arnold was obviously shutting off any trivial chit chats. Shikashi, Gyoko na Tabide wa Atana. Ko ste tsuma to naru aite o mitskeru koto ga dekita. In the manga, it felt more personal when he said that his trip to Hermity was fortitious because he found his future wife. I said it felt more personal because he was looking straight at Rishi when he said it. I don't know if it was his way to make the people around them quiet, but if I were Rishi, my face would turn into a hot red tomato. Also, a private conversation between the two of them transpired after that. Rishi asked if he made other proposals with other women because his father, the current emperor, ordered him for strategic purposes. Arnold replied that he wasn't seeking a bride. It was, however, the condition if he was going to marry. But that night, he made it clear to Rishi that he did not intend to abide by his father in the first place and that he made no other proposals. He added that she was the only woman he wanted to marry. Number 4. The Wine Incident In the novel, we would see Rish's quick and smart thinking. Before she drank the wine, she innocently told the lady that since it's a vintage wine, she would offer her glass to Prince Arnold. And that definitely drained the color on the lady's face. But it did not lead to that. Good thing, or else we would be seeing a head getting chopped off that night. So Risha instead bravely sipped the wine, mixed with pepper, and then proceeded to the balcony to finish the drink as respect to the wine. Karai. Karai. 
When Arnold learned of it, he clearly knew the motive of the spicy wine and offered to execute the lady. I would say that's an Arnold Hine being protective. Richer also apologized for name dropping him to scare them off. But Arnold dismissed the apology saying there was nothing wrong with a wife invoking her husband's name. This guy really considers them husband and wife at this point. Well, he did say it was as good as a done deal anyway. So Risha will surely be Mrs. Hine. And we didn't see this in the anime, but that wine must have been really spicy for Arnold to curse in the novel saying, Damn, that packs a punch. And Risha was drinking it. Number 5. Arnold's Car When Rishi touched his car, she really felt horrible for him because she knew that the attempt to kill him happened a long time ago when he was still so young. The manga even gave us a vision of the nine-year-old Arnold. The emotional pain that the scar carries had more impact with that panel because we see a bleeding child trying to hold on for dear life. And this kid grew up to be a strong man who could wield a sword like a god war. Now that's it for episode 3. There are a lot of sweet Arnold and Rishi manga panels that did not make it in episode 4 as well. So please tune in to my channel. But for now, happy watching!